Tasmania State University has a superb marching band. They are so good that this coming season they have invitations to perform at five different bowl games. The Rose Bowl R, the Hula Bowl H, the Fiesta Bowl F, and the Orange Bowl O, and the Sugar Bowl S. Below are the election results. We want to determine the plurality winner. The plurality win winner is the bowl that has the most first place votes. We can see from our preference schedule that the Rose Bowl R has 49 first place votes. The Hula Bowl H has 48 first place votes. And the Fiesta Bowl F has three first place votes. So the Rose Bowl wins. Next, what other bowl game looks very popular among the band members? So if we take a look again at our preference schedule, we can see that the Hula Bowl had 48 first place votes and it was second place on all the rest of the ballots. So the Hula Bowl looks very popular. Next, we want to compare the number of votes of the particular bowl game you stated in question B to those of each of the other bowl games, and what do we notice? So taking a look at the Hula Bowl, we see that it has 48 first place votes. And it has 49 plus 3 which is 52 second place votes. And the other bowl that's interesting to compare that to, of course, is the winning bowl, which is the Rose Bowl. And R was first on 49. And then it was last place on 48 plus 3, which is 51 ballots, or votes. So the winner of our election was last place on 51 ballots, or had 51 votes for last place, but the Hula Bowl, which did not win, was first place on 48 of the ballots, or had 48 first place votes, and 52 second place votes. So it looks like really the Hula Bowl was preferred more than the Rose Bowl, even though the Rose Bowl won the election. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks.